What he did ask for was a tube with a circumference of three fingers length. And does this look like three fingers length to you? His thoughts exactly. Now bring him a new one. Chop, chop. A welcome sight in dark times. He has not forgotten what you have done for him. Welcome, friend. Material, not help. To be honest, with all those brutes hammering on Gertrude right now, he is more concerned for her well-being than for his own need to be helped out. Ah, Gertrude. That's her name. It expresses both elegance as well as dignity, don't you think? In her embrace, we will find the Ancient Fathers. That's the deal, yes. Even though he wonders what you hope to find up there. Anyway, enough talk. They say you are quite skilled in finding things. And there are things that need to be found to finish Gertrude. Sakabaku copper alloys and a Pyrian crystal cube. Find them. The sooner, the better. Well, that's the challenge. The alloys can probably be found in one of the old Starling mines in the Powder Desert. The Crystal Cube. That's a bit more complicated. But as far as he knows, you might find one in Thalgard. In the time of the expansion, there was a famous Starling tinkerer working under Dalmarak, and he must have used similar cubes in his work. Here, I'll mark both locations on your map. Please, don't die. That would be most unpleasant. Ah, and one of the Arcanists was so kind as to put a teleport rune in the cave, so you can use this scroll to return here. And now, excuse him. There's a lot to do, and Gertrude does not like to be kept waiting. Well, any luck? He does have help, but indeed, according to your standards, he did it on his own. You know, many things become possible when one uses brains instead of muscles. <laughs> well, you know, according to the prophecies, the Star City has existed for tens of thousands of years now. In Nasa Toron's days, in the days of the Pyrians, and even in the days of those who were before them. In other words, if the Ancient Fathers have survived all that time, they will survive these High Ones, as you call them, as well. Maybe they already have. The Steel Machine. This beacon you have built on the Eye of the Gods. Isn't it possible that the Pyrians acquired the schematics from the Ancient Fathers? And even if that's not the case, and the Ancient Fathers simply choose not to intervene, can you really blame them? Look at what mankind has done to the world ever since they've been here. If the Ancient Fathers consciously avoid interfering, they have their reasons. Don't judge them before you have met them. Oh, is that so? Strange how much everyone is suddenly interested in him and his work. Back then, when they still thought he was a poor tinkerer and had no idea of Gertrude's existence, things were quite different. They humiliated him. They bullied him. And without his inventions, he might not have even had the coin to afford his lodgings in the foreign quarter. So please, do him a favor and keep that in mind the next time you judge him. And by the way, even if he did want to help you and your people, he's a creator, not a destroyer. He knows nothing of cannons, centurions, and whatever the rest of his kind have come up with to help you people kill each other. <sighs> but forgive him. He should not be so harsh. 
You have helped him with the birds, and without them he'd probably never have come so far. <laughs> well, in other words, if the Ancient Fathers have survived all that time, they will survive these High Ones, as you call them, as well. <sighs> no. Gertrude and everything you see here is the result of decades of work. Not long ago, there was no threat at all from which he had to flee. What he wants is to fulfill his life's dream, his people's prophecies. That the Starlings one day return to where they came from, to their home. That's all. So, any luck? Yes, that's them. Marvelous, truly marvelous. Here, you have earned yourself that. Now, he only has to... Yes, that should do it. Say, friend, would you be willing to help him a little further? Depending on how well the breeding of these eggs goes, he would like to experiment with other breeds, too. Firefinches, leaf gulls, and peak dashes, to call them by name. Bring him their eggs, too, and you will be rewarded. Yes, he knows, but he will wait here for you. Good luck, and thank you. Yes, very good. Here, you have earned this. However, he still needs more. Come back once you've found them. Ah, brilliant. Here, this should compensate you for your efforts. However, he still needs more. Come back once you've found them. Perfect. Here, take this as a token of his thanks. Now he has them all. Marvelous, truly marvelous. Gertrude will own the skies like a falling star. Many thanks, my sir, and good luck on your travels.